Hello everyone. This is my uh, Columbia River Knives and Tools RSK Mark V survival tin knife, which is also uh, designed to be used as a neck knife. And I just got it uh, from Nevo Knives. And let's go ahead and open up the box and have a look. So there it is. It comes in this uh, neat little tin which is the same size as an Altoids tin. And there's the knife packed in there. Nice tight squeeze and some uh, information which I assume is uh, Doug Ritter. So I assume the RSK stands for a Ritter Survival Knife, um, seeing as he is the designer. So there it is with the lanyard and a glass nylon filled sleeve and it's quite a snug fit and there's the knife itself with the drop point blade one and three quarter inches and the actual knife itself is 3.8 inches and it weighs um, just 0.9 of an ounce so it, it's very light so this lanyard, I'm not sure. I'll I'll probably get rid of that and and wrap the handle with some paracord, depending how it goes fitting into my Altoids tin, which is uh, the reason that I bought the knife. So you can see there's some knurling or grooves there to give it some grip. It is quite small, but you can actually uh, get that lanyard and hold that in your hand to give it some additional purchase. But as I say, I'll most likely wrap it with some paracord. Uh, also, there's the two holes there, which um, and this notch under here that you could use to to lash it to a stick and either turn it into a spear or put a better handle on it, a stick, and then some paracord wrapping to secure that would make it rather more functional. It's quite a solid uh, little blade, say compared to a folding knife or something like that, which might be an alternative for a survival tin and apparently it is unable to throw sparks because there's there's no actual right angle edge although i do believe if you can get this edge onto a, a smaller ferro rod you can probably throw some sparks with it or you can get a file and and just put a 90 degree maybe up on the back of that top of the blade there um, let's see how it cuts the ubiquitous uh, paper cut test um, so there it is pretty sharp straight out of the box um, but that's just paper so I'm not really sure whether that is the most um, representative sort of example so I mean I'm not outside at the moment this is just a little bit of a paddle pop stick but you can see if um, if I want to get into that that'll that'll whittle quite well uh, so I might just keep going at that for a little while and, and then we'll see how it goes and, and I'll get back to you in just a moment. So I've been whittling away. As you can see, it's it's quite effective. Uh, so there you go. Doug Ritter RSK Mark V. Quite an attractive little knife. Just one more thing on this, um, the lanyard. You may have seen some people chop the end off this but there's actually no need to do that if you'd like to preserve the lanyard put it back on later or, or use it for something else it's really quite simple if you just uh, look inside here I'm sure if you can see that there's a little tab and if you just get uh, you know a jeweler's screwdriver or a small screwdriver and just pop it in there it will just pop out like that there you go, that's open. And now you can just pull this section off as well, which is also pretty tight and of course won't come now that the camera's on. But basically you can slide this piece off now. And it's uh, simply a matter of getting your jeweler screwdriver in the end here and popping out this little section here which actually secures 
the string when it passes through and then you should be able to feed it back through so there you go i'll uh, i'll leave that to your own ingenuity and you can have a crack at uh, preserving your lanyard and as i say i'll i'll see if i can come back again and put a paracord handle on this really lovely little piece of engineering and here is the rsk mark 5 now with a um, paracord uh, wrap and i've used fire cord for this and let's see there the way i've wrapped that if you'd like to see how i've actually wrapped that i'll, I'll do another video on that so um leave some comments down below and thanks for watching Thank you.